Ladies and gentlemen, American German Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show. Well, guess what? Two-thirds of America, Americans, do not like where we are in the global world. Donald Trump says he's considering John Paulson for his Treasury Secretary. There is a report out that AI can even threaten all of humanity by 2029. Adidas reported its first loss in 30 years. Next Benedict, this transgender child out in Oklahoma, they thought was beat to death, nope. Thought maybe suicide, nope. The drugs that she was taking, kill her. DeSantis is sending National Guard on the border of Florida to keep the Haitians from coming in. Her had to admit in his hearing yesterday that $8 million book deal that Biden had was part of the reason why he wanted all those classified documents. The guy that wrote the book got access to those documents. No charges. No charges. Far worse than Trump. Let's hope the judge down in Florida can and dismisses Trump's charges. Arizona Trump's up four points. Steve Garvey is passed up pencil neck shift in California in the U.S. Senate race. Carrie Lake, the United States Republican Senate committee, is going all in on her. Cuomo interviewed Carlson, had less than 300,000 views. McDonald's prices are so high, those who are in need are eating at home. Lemon, Don Lemon, that is, was going to have a show on X. First interview, Elon Musk. Elon Musk figured him out, canceled the show. Hunter, June 3rd, might be the trial on his gun charges. Be interesting. RFK Jr. says he's going to make his announcement of his VP choice by March the 25th. Joe Biden, everybody says, oh, what a great State of the Union address. He's gone down since the State of the Union address. Jill Biden. Can't make it up. Was also referenced in those Ben Hur tapes, or those Ben, keep saying Ben Hur, those uh, Hur tapes, and kind of creepy stuff that Joe was saying about her. Weird. Speaking of Jill Biden, you can't make this up. PETA is pressuring her not to use eggs, but potatoes. We're going to have a potato hunt. The Marines have been sent to reinforce our embassy in Haiti. Big TikTok vote yesterday. The House passed a bill that would require TikTok to disengage the American version from the Chinese company. It now goes to the Senate. Chubb, the insurance company that posted the bond, getting grief. This is the big $91 million bond for Trump on the Megyn Carroll case. Christy Nome went to Texas, got some dental work done. New smile. Now they want an investigation. Unbelievable. And Hunter says he's not going to testify in a public hearing in James Comer committee. Putin unleashed it again, said, I see American troops in Ukraine. We're going to have a nuclear war. The judge is going to decide this week about Fannie Willis. However, yesterday he did dismiss six charges. Still got a lot of charges left. England has stopped using puberty blockers. Says it doesn't work and it's bad. England. How about America? Family dollar. Here's how bad the economy is. Family dollar and Dollar Tree, the lowest level retailer we have, are closing a thousand stores. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, apparently there's this big thing out there called Nerf Wars or Dart Wars or whatever you want to call it. Um, well, three people called 911, said the teens were playing Nerf Wars and one of their vehicle flipped. Unbelievable. What you do is you shoot at each other. <laughs> I mean, what the hell? Nerf Wars is a game where pairs of teams face off, they use brackets, Foam dart guns to earn points. Apparently, it's been going on for 25 years. I never heard of it. Yeah. Stolen school bus. This guy right here admitted he stole the school bus. John Robert Benjamin Driscoll. He stole a school bus. He was drunk as hell. <laughs> Boone County Library arrest. This was the big shooting out there. Uh, Boone County police have arrested 58-year-old Samad Green. In local news, Red Bike, 
You ever use it downtown Cincinnati? They're going out of business. They're being shut down. They say there was 140,000 rides, 645 active members. I do not believe that. The Kentucky, they passed the Senate budget, $175 million in new funding for Northern Kentucky projects. More on that later. I smell a rat, some corruption. In Ohio news, Dolan is now ahead of Marino. I don't believe it. But we'll see what happens. Latest poll. And the AD, the athletic director at Sycamore, the whole Sycamore schools are going to be closed because Mark Harden, 52, died in a car crash on I-75 Wednesday. And they closed the schools. Sad, sad, sad. This is the Bulldog. Check out my Ohio Dieter, Eric Dieter's weekly news every Friday. You can read over the weekend. You don't need any other news. This is the Bulldog. Do not be a weedy, muddy metal bloodsucker. Be an oracle. Hello again. This is Jamie Spinley with Eric Dieter's World News. Today's headlines. Tokyo and Sapporo district courts declared Japan's ban on same-sex marriage unconstitutional in landmark rulings. The decision underscores citizens' rights and strengthens the push for legalization. The ruling marks a significant step forward in the fight for equality. Tragedy strikes in Ballarat, Australia as a gold mine collapse claims one life and leaves another critically injured. The incident occurred 500 meters underground, prompting a swift response to evacuate miners. We're taking 29 refuge in a safety pod. Rescue efforts highlight the dangers of mining operations. And Philippines authorities un uncover a sprawling scam center, rescuing hundreds forced into online deception. The center posing as an online gambling firm exploited Filipinos, Chinese and other nationals. The raid sheds light on the scam activities in Southeast Asia, where victims and perpetrators alike often fall for prey to criminal network. Until tomorrow, cheerio. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Cheering Bulldog Nation, welcome to Sports Without Boundaries. Moeller High School beat Elder 38-35, a defensive struggle yesterday in the Ohio Regional. University of Cincinnati, Kansas was down a lot of players. They beat Kansas in the tournament, Big 12, 72-52. to Wow. D. Alexander, congratulations, second straight year. Purcell Marion, Ohio Player of the Year. Garoppolo, Oakland Raiders have cut him. Rick Pitino says he regrets ever leaving Kentucky. Reds, Slugfest, won 19-11 over San Francisco. The Chiefs got a tax bill coming. In other words, the city of Kansas City has got to decide whether they want to continue the taxing authority that they've had. If not, Kansas could be on the move. Xavier is going to play University of Connecticut. More on that later. Defamation lawsuit against Jerry Jones has been dismissed. Calvin Ridley, former of Alabama, is now signed with the Tennessee Titans. The Bengals have signed Sheldon Rankins, defensive lineman. Jonah Williams is leaving the Bengals. He's headed to Arizona. Xavier's playing Connecticut because they beat Butler yesterday. Congratulations. University of Kentucky's putting together a big NIL package. Corruption, corruption. John Wall said he almost killed himself back in 2020. Pretty wild, said his son's kept him. Sad Reds news. Bill Plummer, Johnny Bench's backup, passed away at 72 years old. Mark Coleman, the UFC champion, is on life support. He saved his parents from a burning house, went back in to save his dog. His dog died, and he is in bad shape. The Bengals released safety Nick Scott yesterday. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Do not be a weedy, muddy metal bloodsucker. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, American Jerry Bulldog Nation, I got some good pop culture stuff for you. First, tomorrow is the Ides of March. You know what Ides means? The middle. Every single month has an Ides in it. It's the middle day. But Ides of March was big because tomorrow, March 15th, is the day, the Ides of March, that Julius Caesar was slain by those senators trying to save Rome from his tyranny. 
course, it ended up backfiring on them. All they did was get Augustus. <laughs> so anyway, the Ides of March are tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be an interesting day. All right, Christy Brinkley apparently went in for a skin check with her daughter, decided she had some skin cancer, which she's had work done. Christy Brinkley. Patsy Cline, George Jones, this story I caught yesterday, wild. Patsy Cline died in a plane crash. That night, George Jones was supposed to get on the plane with Patsy Cline. He ate all of her chicken that was on a plate. She was so mad at him, she didn't let him get on the plane. George Jones didn't die. All because of a plate of chicken. Isn't that something? You do know that on the, the day the music died, that Waylon Jennings, when he lost the coin toss, Buddy Holly looked at Waylon Jennings and says, I hope the bus uh, freezes up on you. Joking. Waylon looked right at Buddy Holly and said, I hope your plane crashes. Is that wild? Chuck Norris, 84 years old, posted a video of him hitting. Says he feels 48. A lot of funny, you know, the old Chuck Norris things. Age doesn't catch Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris catches old date, all his other stuff. It's, it's hysterical, man. Happy birthday, Chuck Norris. He was a model. Paul Alexander lived his whole life like this. He died at 70 years old in an iron lung. Why? I mean, why? What, a, what an incredible human being that he had the disposition to do it. Neil Young is back on Spotify. Oh, Neil. Oliver Stone says all the charges against Trump are a bunch of baloney. He doesn't care for Trump or Biden, who he calls a warmonger. Olivia Munn, only 30-some-odd years old, battling cancer. Comes for everybody. Eric Church is going to have 19 straight days opening his Nashville bar. I like Eric Church. Need to go down there and pitch him a song. And Ryan Gosling and Eva Mendez are leaving L.A. because they don't want their kids being raised in L.A. around other actor kids. Good for them. By the way, he's going to be in the fall guy coming up uh, with, a, with a, oh, shoot, I forget her name. One of the Olivias. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.